For any Xbox or PlayStation codes or cheap games on any platform, use the referral link in the description. It'll take you to G2A.com. Use the promo code CHEZ over there and you'll get yourself 3% cash back. For all No Identity merchandise, hats, hoodies and t-shirts, follow the link in the description down below to the No Identity Fan Fiber website. Hey guys, welcome to episode number 10 of the Football Manager stream series here on the YouTube channel. I'm at the beginning of a new stream session, so I thought I'd do a little intro to, uh, to kick us off. We're not in good form, actually. We started the season quite well, but if I have a quick look at the schedule here, you can see we're actually on the back of a three-game uh, losing run, although we have played teams that are towards the top of the table. So uh, we've got one more against top place Swindon, then we've got local rivals Peterborough, in the cup and then a few games against teams that are kind of mid to lower table so I'm hoping uh, we can just get through Swindon and Peterborough and then if I do a uh, just kind of a team meeting and get everybody together and be like look let's sort this out lads then maybe we can turn morale around and crack on and get some wins against Wickham, Lincoln, Yeovil, no, Chesterfield and Grimsby thank you for the donation this is needs appreciate that my man uh, but as you can tell this is taken from a live stream so uh, if you want to watch these live follow the link in the description down below and you'll be able to watch these live when I go live obviously these are stream highlights up on the channel that I've cut down into segments I'm planning on being live for like I don't know, three, four, five hours. So there's going to be plenty of episodes uh, to come from this particular session. And we will crack on uh, to uh, take on Swindon, who are top of the league. Great. This is going to be another defeat, I think. But yeah, drop the video a like if you enjoy. Subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on more. Follow me on Twitch. Link in the description down below. And for now, I'm just going to continue on. Divert my attention to my uh, to my Twitch chat. And hopefully, hopefully, oh, they're even up telling me to hold a team meeting. I will do, but... Uh, not until after the Swindon and Peterborough games. So uh, that's next on the agenda, and let's go and do that now. We're going to get smacked by Swindon, and it's going to be fun. Matt Foy's gone out on loan to a Tranmere. Hopefully he can get a decent amount of first-team football there. Bombay. Liam O'Neill injured. Oh, it's a bruised knee. That's right. So I don't need any more injuries. We've got a couple of people out injured at present that I could do with being back in my first team setup. It's 12.35am in Singapore. Yeah, you were here yesterday about almost exactly the same time, weren't you, Flamer? <laughs> I appreciate the support so late in the day. Dr Pepper Zero is so good. It is! I agree! Sponsor me! Okay. Helping you get through uni work. What What is it that you're working on at the minute, Nick? You're doing a f French translation degree, aren't you? Or something along that. I might be completely wrong. Are you learning to be an interpreter or something? I don't know. Something to do with French. I'm just going off your whatever your Twitter bio was. Something about French. Uh, I streamed Dortmund yesterday, Pyrek. I streamed Dortmund yesterday. Doing some football manager today. Well, right, unsurprisingly, Swindon are three to one on. Thank you for the bit, Dan fan. Uh, oh, I'm not. I'm not optimistic at all about the outcome of this game. Uh, let's just quick pick and then alter it slightly. Uche and I reckon Aziz up top. Really? I don't know, man. I'm going to put Jabo up top, but obviously take him off Poacher. Too supportive target then probably isn't the best way to play, but bollocks to it, that's what we're going to do. Paul Lewis in that all-winning midfielder role, really? He's more of a... yeah. He can play in that role, he's more of that role, isn't he? Uh, what is his tackling, actually, Paul Lewis? Eight. Uh, uh, I don't know, me. I'd rather someone... A little... Oh, to be fair, Liam and Neil, Gary Deegan are both hurt and not fully fit, so I can't play them anyway. Alright, Paul Lewis it is then. <laughs> Shit. Let me actually just set him to central midfielder. Or oh, not attacking though, a supportive central midfielder. Ah, uh, no, go on then, we'll just have a ball winning. I like to have a ball winning in there, at least one. Can you tell that I really don't have a clue what I'm doing right now? Full back, attacking full back. Hawkins leg, they have a poor partnership, don't they? They're not really getting on that well. I played fairly poorly when paired, not a good partnership. Yep. 
Oh well, we'll keep going. <laughs> right. Uh, do I really want to play Taylor at right back? I mean, I could give Leon Davis a game. Bradley Halliday. I'll play Bradley Halliday. Sorry, Greg. Didn't go on a bench. Right, that'll do. Wish me luck. In before I lose. Doing a French and history degree. There you go. I knew it was something to do with French. Do I usually do well in FM with Cambridge? Not really, Frozen Thorn. Uh, calmly. Uh, we're huge underdogs, so go out there and show them what you got. Here we go. Loud. I'll turn it down. You know what? I'll just leave it muted. Fuck it. I'll leave it muted. No, I like having game sound. Oh, make your mind up, chairs. Make your mind up, chairs. Let's put it back there. there Darker day. Oh, we got a throw. Go on, lads. Great. That was great use of possession, wasn't it? Oh, it's a good turn. It's a shame about the shot. Name is pronounced P Rack. Okay, I'll try and remember that. Nice header there, Leon. Well done. And 1 0 Swindon. There you go. Only took 13 and a half minutes. All from a Leon leg mistake. Right, if he heads that to a teammate, of which there are two there waiting for it, or even brings it down and does something better with it. I did, yes, CJ. I don't... Actually, yeah, I don't know whether the person is in here. Let me check the viewer list. Uh, they're not. Thank you for reminding me, though. If I see them pop up in the chat, I will say thank you. Well, we're actually having a decent game. Stat-wise, we just can't score. Oh, look, Leon Legans on a 6.2. Uh, I'm going to have a meeting regarding the poor results after the next game, Devil. There's no point really having a meeting before playing top of the league, because we're probably going to lose it anyway, so... It doesn't matter. And if we do end up getting a result, then that only helps my cause. Not that we're going to end up getting a result, because we're going to go 2 0 down here. No, we're not. Leon, you are having a disgustingly poor game. I think we're going to take him off at half time. Put Greg Taylor in. Dear Leon Leg, why are you so poo? Because in real life, you're quality. Unlucky boys. To be fair, they have played okay. Yeah, I might... Because of the counter-attacks, I might drop... Um, I might drop the defensive line a little bit. I'm contemplating dropping the defensive line a little bit. Uh, don't know when I'm streaming Dortmund again, p -Rack. Not until at least Sunday. Because I go away tomorrow until Saturday evening. Come on, boys. I don't know what to do tactically, really. Let's take off retain possession. More expressive.
I thought they'd gone out there. That's a poor clearance though. Can we make them pay for that mistake? It's Jabbo. A mistake from us led to a goal for them, and a mistake for them has led to a goal for us. Good finish by Jabbo Ibiri. Poor from Sean Kavanagh. But we will take it. I'm going to bring Medi Alita on onto the left hand side actually. I'm tempted to take Osadebe out as well, but I won't. Harrison Dunn getting assist with practically his last action of the. Oh my god! Oh, what a, what a miss from me up here, oh boy. Thank you for the bit. Oh, it's 100 bits from Danfan. When will I stream F1 again? I don't know, mate. I would like to get back into it. Like I say, or like I have said in the past couple of weeks, I'm trying to get back into some sort of streaming schedule. But at the minute, the past, well, the past few months, there's always been some... Oh, another mistake! I can't finish it. There's always been something I've needed to get ahead for. So I've never been able... I've always been concentrating on YouTube and not been able to prioritise much on Twitch. But um, the plan is to get myself back into a fairly regular streaming schedule. Thank you for the 100 bits as well from Ashley. Appreciate that. Pardon me. Don't get caught in the counter, lads. Good. And one extra bit from Ashley, thank you. <laughs> oh, do I make any more changes? Uh, I don't know. Mm, uh, let's bring Jake Carroll on for Sean Kavanagh and change him to a defensive fullback. And now I'm going to switch from control to defensive. Just try and hold on to the result. Get a bit from CJ joining in. And then when I get the chance, I'm going to shout. I would recommend FM, yes, Charles. I would hate for this bit to, up, <laughs> to disrupt the YouTube video. Right, uh, tighten up, we'll say. And then, oh, I can't shout again. Uh, what a waste of time, please, if you don't mind. And retain possession, be more disciplined. What do I think the Chelsea score will be against Carabag? Uh, not sure, to be honest. Have we just got a penalty? We've just got a last minute penalty against top of the league. Medialito to take it. If he buries it, it could completely turn our season around. Medialito! We're going to win! Away from home against top of the table Swindon. Yes! This could be huge! Now's the time for the team meeting. Or maybe we should play Peter just on the back of this. Oh, boys. Um, 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 shout. Uh, concentrate. Yes! That's a massive victory! That's huge! Assertively, what a comment, lads. I'm superbly proud of you. 100 bits from Ashley, thank you. And one from Jack Stoker as well, to celebrate the victory. We're still 15th. But that's huge. That's a massive win. A massive win. Entirely undeserved, assertively. Uh, we were the better team. We actually played very well. Uh, yeah, it was good. It just wasn't that deadly. Thank you for the bits, Ashley. And Karim, what's with the final whistle? I don't know. I don't know whether it's a bug. It seems to go off like seven times, doesn't it? <clears throat> uh, James Dunn was brilliant today, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, he was. And he used to be with me. And I kind of wish he still was. Because he's exactly the sort of player I like in my midfield. Never mind. 
Thoughts and Grimsby, Pine and Company or Russell Slade. I'm not going to talk about other jobs. I'm delighted. Piera was outstanding today. Uh, is this a bit war and you won chairs? I did. I did win. We did a win! Yay! You know what? You can have a rest for that, lads. You can have a rest for one day. Actually, can I alter that? A rest for two days. So you're fit to play Peterborough. I probably won't make a Brighton career mode. No, sorry, Ashley. <laughs> Smithy heard the bit war was a thing. Thank you for the bits. Flickroft believes Wood to be bitter. He's a very petty and very bitter manager, unfortunately. His reaction to the whole affair has been quite revealing. What? <laughs> I just said that I thought we deserved the win. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say the same thing. Screw you, cheeky bastard. Another 100 bits from Ashley, thank you. Chess got roasted. <laughs> yeah. Apparently I did. I really don't care about the Checker Trade Trophy, but it's Peterborough. Alright, board confidence update. They are satisfied with my management. We're at 48%, which is slightly less than where we started. Pardon me. Slightly less than where we... Slightly less than where we, we started at 50%, obviously. Um, the squad dynamics, average. Leon Legg is a team leader. Yeah, it's a shame he was terrible against Swindon. See you, Ollie. Uh, we're fifteenth, fourteenth even in the league now, above Crew on goal difference. Actually, I think goal difference was the same. We beat Crew though, so that's probably why. Crew, yeah, we beat Crew two one. That's why we were above them. We're at forty three percent with Huddersfield expecting the sack soon. It's only been two months. Nah, you'll be right. Uh, a bit from a bit from uh, CJ. Sorry. Oh, really? Last time out against Swindon, your team played very well. You must be... A yes, I am. Uh, no comment about other people's jobs. Not going to talk about tactics. Bit from Foxy. Really? Uh-oh. What matters more here? Win against local rivals or win against somebody else? Uh, they're equally important to our fans. A team the size and stature of Peterborough. Trina, is any other fixture. Fuck them. Uh, no. Uh, no comment. Not going to talk about uh, details. 99 bits from CJ. <laughs> Can we not start this? I'm try trying to play FIFA. Peterborough are big rivals to Cambridge, aren't they? They are. Peterborough are Cambridge United's biggest rivals. Although I'm sure Peterborough fans would say that Northampton are their biggest rivals. But for us, it's Peterborough. Peterborough, Luton, Northampton, Stevenage. Probably Cambridge's biggest rivals. We're going to talk about team selection. We're going to talk about that. Really the managers and chairman don't always get on. Concentrating on my team. Uh, a bit from Dan. For, sorry, Dan. I don't. I don't need any more mods. But thank you for the bit. What time am I finishing? I don't know. I've, I've only been live twenty minutes. <laughs> Trying to get rid of me already. <laughs> Woo, Northampton. Meanwhile, Colchester just exists. Yeah, no one gives a shit about Colchester. Who even are Colchester's biggest rivals? Is it South End? Would South End be their biggest rivals? I'm not sure, to be honest. When was the last time I had exams? Uh, when I was still in... Um, thank you for the bits, Ashley. When I was still uh, doing my A-levels. 
it's the last time I had exams. So, like, 11 years ago? No. Or my 29. 13 years ago. Thirteen years ago was the last time I sat an exam. And there may even be people in here that are in um, the stream that aren't even 13 years old. Just really strange to me. I got a text message. Bits! Bits from Nick! Southend, Ipswich, and Norwich are all Colchester's rivals. Aziz wants to discuss personal matters. Yeah, it's because you've got finishing of seven, mate. I mean, maybe I should maybe I should play him a little bit more. I should maybe I don't know. Uh, I'm not very happy with the playing time received since signing. I really would have expected it to be better. Um, uh, um. Um, I'm, I'm willing to give him. I'm willing to give him a go. I'm willing to give him a go because nobody else really has stepped up to the plate and been a a standout goal scorer. Uche has four, and Jabo has three. And to be fair, Medialito's got four, so he's <laughs> he's more of a goal threat than either of my other strikers at the minute. A levels are killing me right now. Essays are not my thing. See, I'd, I preferred essays than um, than written exams. I always felt more confident writing an essay than I did actually... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Pardon me. Than I did... Um, oh, brain! Brain! Sitting uh, an exam. Right, Peter are favourites. No real surprise. Take off work on the ball into the box. I really don't know what to do, to be honest, ta uh, tactically. I think maybe just leaving them to it is the best option. Quick pick. All right, let's change. Let's change Aziz to a, a poacher. And go ahead. Uh, see, he wants me to continue to start dunk. Ah, Gary Deegan's back. That's good news. That's very good news. See, I want to continue to play Bradley Halliday at right back. Uh, Uche's on the bench. George Taft is on his way back from injury as well, which is good. Although he's not in the best of form. Jack Carroll, I could do with a centre mid actually on the bench. Let's put Paul Lewis in for a move. Although I've got Liam O'Neill actually. See, Amu can play up top. Not very good at any of it. Uh, yeah. What looks to it? Why not? Uh, I'm not watching Chelsea while I'm playing, no. Why did someone time out Trojan Star for asking if there was a Cambridge United ITU this year? Oh, because they were spamming. Alright, fair enough. 256 bits from Ashley. Thank you for all of these bits. You really don't have to, but I appreciate it. You got a two thousand network error, Rip. They're playing a four three three. Is that Charlie Forrester? Or Chris Forrester. I don't know who I'm thinking of then. I missed my team talk by pressing the button too many times. Uh Well, they didn't get team talk. Go on boys. You really want FM? Go and buy it then, Ewan. It is good. What a great start. Well done, lads. I might play some Fortnite later, Comet, yeah. Depends what time. I've got my sister coming up later on this evening, although she probably, she probably won't be here till like 9 or 10. So I'll be streaming for a while, so I might stream some. No! What an awful mistake from the goalkeeper. Great. Why... Why are the majority of our goals being conceded to mistakes? 
Like, there's, a, there's nothing I can do about that tactically if people are just going to... But you can't legislate for defensive mistakes. Have my sister play Fortnite on stream. Um, <laughs> not so sure she'd be up for that, to be honest. Yeah, FM's always brilliant every year. You're right, Jonathan. I could not agree more. If anyone wants to buy FM, wait until the Steam sale that starts this evening. Oh, that's a good point. I don't know whether they'll put it on sale this early on in its life cycle, but if they do, then fair play to SI. Deegan picks up a yellow card. Let's go, let's try these tactics again. A lot of our players coming down the left hand side through Harrison Dunn. Yeah, there might be a slight discount. Well, that was terrible, wasn't it, Harrison? Black Friday's next week, though, isn't it? Or is Black Friday this week? I can never remember when it is. Is it this? Is Black Friday this weekend? Go on, Aziz, you're away. This is why you're in for that pace. Yes, Aziz! 100 bits from Ashley. Perfectly timed for the goal from Aziz. His first ever goal from Cambridge United. He asked me to put him in the team. We did so, and he's... Put it away. Talk about long ball. Yes. That's what we like. Yes, I, I prefer Cyber Monday to Black Friday. Hey Ben, welcome to your first stream. Micro shopping in London for Black Friday. Could do. It's an option. Might take Gary Deegan off at half-time for Liam O'Neill. He's played well, but he's on a booking and he's, he's tired, so I don't want to risk him too much. Darker day. Uh, assertively, happy with the performance so far. Keep it up. And what I could do is exploit the middle with a Z's. Take work the ball off the box. Get Diego Forlan on a free. I get the feeling I might not quite be able to afford his wages. Like one pimp. <laughs> peach, yellow, mate. A wild peach arrives. How are you, my man? Who's the best South Coast team? Uh, because CJ's in here, I should probably say Southampton. And to be fair, Southampton probably are the best South Coast team, so it's probably factual anyway. I think you want me to say Brighton, I apologise, Ashley, but it's not the case. It's <laughs> a debate. Oh, Liam O'Neill! Never mind. Lim Mousse? Bloody hell. Where have they got him? They got him on loan from Bournemouth. They signed him permanently. Oh, yeah, he's on loan. He's only scored one goal in nine games. He's pretty good, though. Comes the counter attack and a second Peter Bar a goal. Are you ready? Here it is, though, never mind. Uh, CJ supports Southampton, yes, Dan. When am I next in Cambridge? I have absolutely no idea, my man. We do need to catch up, though. We need to go, like, we need to actually pull our fingers out and go get everybody together for a meal. Like, the uh, dinner club, so to speak. 
Oh, let me guess. Another... Oh, they missed. Another defensive mistake, though. CJ Sports working. Ah, uh, no. I'm tempted to go slightly more defensive, but I don't know whether it's a good idea or not. We might be going to penalties again, like we did against the under-23s of Southampton. I really don't care for this competition, though. See you, Charles. Is it, is it Charles or Charles? I don't know where uh, Charles is short for Charlotte or Charlie. Although you've just... Oh, great. Never mind. There's Lynn Mousset. I told you he was going to score. Uh, was I okay to post that picture in the sub-discord? I haven't seen it. Oh, you push one. No, it's not, it's not self-promoting at all. I don't mind. It's not like you're spamming it constantly, being like, come and watch my video. Uh, it was another donation. Let me quickly check. It's two pounds from Leone. Bournemouth are the best on the South Coast team. Or Bournemouth are the best South Coast team, sorry, learn to reach us, especially now Wilson is back. It, oh, it's, it's close between Bournemouth and Southampton. It is. It really is. I think, I think Southampton have the better personnel, but Bournemouth on their day can most teams we're going to lose to Peter oh, well, I, like I say I really don't care about um, this competition neither do the board so it's fine they'll be disappointed that we've lost to Peter bro, but oh, well. it's Charlie right okay I, was, I wasn't sure I just wanted to make sure yeah, I've got someone else who watches me called Charlotte who uh her uh, username it has a uh, shawl in it. Unlucky boys. Uh, Cambridge must win to match to complete the group fixes. How do you feel about that? Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll find out. Uh, morale is okay at present. Uh, I'm going to save it and then hold a team meeting.